Welcome back to the Coco Digest Morning Show. I am Miriam Abna Adide. Now, up next, we are just about to have our lifestyle conversation. And today we'll be discussing something that a lot of us are struggling with. And I'm talking about work-life balance. A lot of us are doing so many things, you know, from managing demanding jobs, family lives, and also our personal lives. And we are trying to find a balance, you know, among all these occupations. But... It is always a struggle for us. And so today we are going to find out where the balance lies. And I have with me um, an expert. Let me call him an expert because he's able to juggle so many jobs at a time. And he's going to help us with the education we need. You have been reminded that we're streaming live on all our media platforms, Facebook and also YouTube, and as well as Clock TV. You can send in your comments um, via our WhatsApp number, which has been displayed on the screen and also the phone lines will be open in the course of the conversation and so you can call and ask any question pertaining our topic for today right so i have with me nana kofi ado esiedu and he is uh, the head of pharmacy at ghana canada medical center and also doubles as a master of ceremony and let's get straight into the conversation hello sir hello how are you doing uh -huh. I'm blessed. Okay, so are you accepting the title of being an expert in juggling two or more jobs? Well, I think so, because <laughs> right, both uh, jobs are very demanding, so. Yeah. So tell us, how, how would you define work-life you know, balance? So there's a very, very, very thin line between work and your life. Yeah. You have to have a clear demarcation of what you do personally and your work. For me, as a pharmacist, it's a full-time job. Mm. I go to work. Sometimes I go for morning shifts, afternoon, night shifts. And we still find a way to yeah. make people happy. Let me put it that way. Right. So, yeah. Right. So are these the only two jobs you do or you have other things? Um, I am I also like married. <laughs> it's a full-time job. <laughs> How is that a full-time job? It's I mean, for us. The singles. For you, the singles. Mm. Well, I went to carry someone's daughter. <laughs> They've been taking care of her very nicely, so I have to continue. Yeah. And with ladies, you know. Yeah. You need a lot of care, so <laughs> it's a full-time job. Right. Yes. Um, are there any kids yet, or uh, they are on the way? <laughs> yes. 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 Kids, maybe not personally, but I have kids. You yeah, know, you have family kids. kids yes. Yeah. I understand. Now, let us um, understand the challenges. You know, these um, demanding jobs come with. Okay. So, a scenario. Mm. I've gone for a night shift on a Friday night. Yeah. The next morning, you get a call. You have an MC gig mm. for a naming ceremony, maybe mm. at a naming ceremony normally at 7.30, yeah. very early. Yeah. So, with this... Mm. Close early, mm. freshen up, no sleep, and you have to go put smiles on people's faces. Yeah. Very, 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 I don't know, maybe, I don't, if you can, as you said, expert, so. Yeah. <laughs> I have to juggle yeah. it, so yeah. Very. But how long have you been doing this? So you I can weigh the experience. I have been a pharmacist for about 10 years. 10 years, okay. Yes. I know, I look very young. So. <laughs> yes. And for the MC, I've been practically doing this almost from SHS. Okay. So... Even more than being a pharmacist. So. Yeah. But have there been an instance where you chose one over the other? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and which one do you normally choose over the other? So I would say it's all about money. Yeah. Though my professional, like my uh, educational professional mm. job as a pharmacy mm. gives money, but you have, can switch with someone and shift yeah. and go for a gig. Because yeah. the gig is an immediate thing that you get your money and... Mm. You move on. So sometimes yeah. you choose the gig, but yeah. But so when you come back, you sort. Oh yeah, you have know, to sort the person out. Wow. <laughs> like, yes, you have to sort the person out. Then yeah. the stress is all over because yeah. I mean you're not just going to take the money and pocket it. You still have to give out some. And you have to come back to the wife too. Of course. You have very, to make her understand. Important. Yes. So. <laughs> okay. Now let's talk about family. How often do you spend time with your family? Looking at these two demanding, you know. Jobs. I say I say I do my best. Mm. Um, um, if I'm not 
in the hospital, if I'm not with a gig, if I'm not trying to balance it out with some form of exercise, mm. I'm home yeah. with the family. So, yeah, I try possible mm. best. She understands, so, yeah. yes. We'll be discussing marriage, you know, in our main discussion, but I, I want to understand, is it very demanding? I'm a single person, so I want to know, is marriage very demanding? It is. It's a full-time job. <laughs> you girls have mood swings. <laughs> we have to manage that. Yeah. We can wake up not happy and we have to find a way to make you happy. Give, yeah. give us an instance where, you know, your wife's mood, you know, had to switch, okay. which um, was likely to affect your job as well, maybe a gig or something. So there's a gig, it's an MC gig for a party in the mm. evening, like mostly it's Fridays because Friday, Saturday is when we yeah. have our party. So Friday, so Friday morning I tell her, oh, today I'll be going to work in the morning, but when I close, I have a gig in the evening. Mm. You see, you give the same reaction, like, <laughs> mm, like she's not going to be happy, but yeah. uh, she has to understand. When I come back, I'll have to appease her, so. How do you appease her? How do I appease her? <laughs> <laughs> how how do you appease a lady? You know, mm. you buy the nicest things. Mm. You make sure you're a good husband for like a month. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now yeah. let's look at the balance yes. in all these things because um, at the end of the day, we need to make sure that all the jobs we have are working together. We are not choosing one over the other and one is not lacking over the other. So how are you able to balance all these things and then make sure that you are able to hit your target, you are able to do as you know requested? So uh, I believe in utilizing your time well. Mm -hmm. I set reminders. Uh, you plan for the month, you mm -hmm. plan for the week, or you plan for the day. Mm -hmm. So you set reminders on your phone, what you have to do at what time. Mm -hmm. You make sure you are hitting the pharmacy target and you make sure that whatever gig that you take, you appear. Mm. Because most of us, we take, we don't appear, and there's a problem. So you appear. What happens for you not to appear, you know? Not, not to appear. There's, I have a gig. I also have to cover a shift. Mm. I try to get someone to replace. The person says, no, he's no, also busy. Yeah. So it's either I increase what I want to give the person, or I return the money for the gig, of which would not be acceptable. If it's your wedding reception, you yeah. will not. Yes. I will not take that Exactly. At all. So... Wow. Now let's look at how, um, you know, all these stress we are talking about, you know, impact our mental health. Yes. How yeah. does it impact your mental health? You really have to be mentally sound. You have to have, as I said, a routine. Like a week, for me, in a week, on Sundays mostly, I go swimming. Mm. Very, very good exercise. You make sure your muscles are all intact. You are exercising and also you are having good reads, mm. watch movies, mm. take your wife out. Mm. Mm -hmm. For the single people, I can't say much, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> we want you to delve into, you know, um, how you're able to release the stress. So you said you, you go on swimming, you take your... Are, just, are these just the, the, the little or few things you do? Oh, yes, and sometimes you go out with the boys, watch a football match. Mm. Yes, go and shout your heart out. From the stress, from the work stress, from mm. the MC. Sometimes you go to a gig, a very old lady will let you talk for a very long time. <laughs> explaining right. things over and over again. Yeah. So all these things. Football helps. Mm. Watch football, release mm. stress. Your team might lose, but still. <laughs> <laughs> it was very necessary to talk about that because, yeah. I mean, all the time, I know a particular team, they are always losing. I don't want to mention Yes, them. we can't mention teams, yeah. yes. But we can talk about the color. I think it's color blue, blue and white. I, I don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your team. No, no, that is not my team. <laughs> right. Yes. Uh, so if you just joined us, um, this is the lifestyle conversation here on the Coco Digest Morning Show. And I've been talking with Nana Kofi Adu Esiedu. Uh, sorry, Nana Kofi Adu Esiedu. Before he takes me on, <laughs> he is the head of pharmacy at the Ghana Canada Medical Center. And he also doubles as a master of ceremony. And we are discussing work-life balance. We want to know where the balance lies, you know, among all the stress we go through, you know, 
juggling a lot of occupations and jobs. And that is what we've been doing on the show. You can join the conversation by sending in your comments to our WhatsApp number, which has been displayed on the screen. And also call in because the phone lines are being opened. You can call and ask um, our pharmacist here in the question. Please don't ask him of drugs and others. We are not talking about that today. It is about stress and then balance. That is what we are talking about today. Nana, okay, so give us a, a, a worst scenario where everything looked like it was stressful. Like, let's say you had a stressful week, a stressful day, you know. Walk us through an incident. So an incident, mm. uh, I went to work and unfortunately a patient passed. Wow. Yes, and relatives can't pay medications. Wow. That's we take you for the patient because when the patient passes, you can't go and say, take your money at that spot. You yeah. have to wait. So I had to close the shift with my own money. Oh. Had a gig in the evening, went to the gig, and Almighty Doomsaw came. Wow. So you can imagine. Like, how are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> the day was just, I don't know, but you still know, have to right? try and put a smile on that was me. It was like, Doomsaw for like two hours. Well, I would, I would not, you know, have smiled because it doesn't look like <laughs> something to smile about. Well, it's, it's your job to smile, you know. So you're directing someone's happiness. So mm. practically, that's one of the worst days. Yeah. Yeah. Very, 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 very. Okay. Very, yeah. But do you think technology has a role to play in, you know, trying to bring a balance? Yeah. In, yeah. Uh, stress. Because uh, in promoting yourself, you have to have good social handles, mm. TikTok, Snapchat, yeah. Instagram. Yeah. And with your phone, you capture the moment mm. you promote yourself. Mm. With your phone, you set reminders on what yeah. to do. You find schedules, calendars. So mm. technology vital role. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So we have a comment here. Let me read it out. So this is from um, Esther inside Pukwase, and she's asking... Please, can you tell Nana to demonstrate to us how she, hey, sorry, how he behaves when he's in the house as a family man and then when he's on the job as an MC? Wow. <laughs> Esther, thank you so much for your question. We want to see. You want to see? <laughs> you want to you see. You want to act it out? Or yeah, you yeah, just... like in a minute. In a minute, in a minute, in a minute. Let, okay, let's start with the MC. With the MC, okay. So in a minute, uh, <laughs> what's the set tonight? Is there a party? Okay. Is there a wedding reception? Is there a naming ceremony? I think a wedding reception will do. A wedding reception, mm. so, okay. So, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This <laughs> is your MC. I go by the name Kofi Saint. I'm the only sanctified Friday born you'll ever find in Ghana. <laughs> so, DJ, let's take it away. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you are the only... Sanctified Friday born wow. in Ghana. Mm. Yes. So what's happening to the other Friday boys? I don't know what they are doing. But. <laughs> we are taking offenses in that. <laughs> and then as a family man. As a family man, okay. So I'm sitting in a couch at home. Mm. I'll be like, so I don't know if I should mention my wife's name. But oh. yes. <laughs> yes. But I hope say. she's watching. Though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course, of course she's watching. So mm. be like, Kuka, can I have a Coke? That's my favorite beverage. So okay. Coke and in the couch watching movie. Mm. Maybe watching something on my phone. I multitask a lot. Mm. Answering texts, watching movie, or browsing to all of that. Yeah. So basically, I'm cool in the house. Very, very goofy in the house. So, so from what I just saw, it mm. means you have two personalities, right? Yes. You know, the outspoken one, the vibe, and all those things. And then the and very the calm, cool, yes. calm husband. Yes. Right. So let's talk about the cultural influence. What do you think is influencing people to multitask? Because ideally, I think every human being should just have one job. <laughs> I, that's what I think. I mean, we should just have one job. You're five to eight, and then you go back home. Sorry, eight to five, you go back home, and then you rest. In this Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> in this Ghana, in this economy, that can't happen. Because you can't, even with your peers, you mm. can't be... In a house by five, right? everyone has closed. They're in the house. No, even when they're in the house, they're doing something on the yeah. computer or something because 
you have to make the money. Mm -hmm. Culture is saying that a man cannot sleep. You are the man of the house. You have to provide everything. Yeah. Yes. So in our sets, in our culture, they won't let, they won't let us sleep. Mm. We, we can't sleep. You can't sleep. But we have to sleep too. But <laughs> So the economy is contributing to that, right? Major factor. Right. Yes. But I, I think the whole um, understanding needs to be focused on the fact that at the end of the day, what you're doing, you love it. It is you know, something you're passionate about. Because if it is something you don't like, let's say the emceeing, for instance, if it was something you don't like, but you're doing it because of the money, I think you have just, you know, stopped. Yeah, along the line. Right. As I went and this yeah. orderly, then we talk for like half an hour. I would have told <laughs> if, I, <laughs> if I didn't like or had yeah. no passion for the yeah. MC job. Yes. So, yes, I agree with you. It boils down to passion. Mm. If you are brilliant with books, yeah. you still find something, something you like to do. to do outside your books and all that. So, I think that's it for me. Mm. Mm. Right. Someone is typing a comment, and I don't know if we should wait for the person, but we can still be talking whilst <laughs> we wait for the person. Mm. So, we, we just um, understood the cultural aspect of it. And some will also argue that, you know, juggling a whole lot of you know, occupations is going to have a toll on you. I mean, we've tried to understand the balance, but do you think it is, it is advisable? It is inevitable. Okay. It's inevitable, but it is understandable to rest. Mm. Every human being mm. needs rest, but you can't rest whilst there's no food on the table. Right. <laughs> so, so you always have to be on the go. You right? have to be on the go. If you find a little time, you can rest. Two okay. hours, three hours, you rest. Okay. You Let's put aside uh, you being a family man. Mm. Being a pharmacist and also um, an MC, which one do you think you are likely to stop anytime soon? <laughs> <laughs> In how many years? In how many years? Like, oh, let's say like in the five next years. five years. In the next five years? Yeah. Uh, I'm not likely to stop. Mm. I'm likely to reduce the hours. Yeah. Because by then, I believe I should have built a business hub that uh, there are a lot of people involved now. We can mm. connect. I should maybe be having a clinic of my yeah. own or a yeah. hospital. So I'll be a bit laid back, but not stop completely. Yeah. Yes. Just and I believe reduce. you're working towards that. Oh, right? yes, we are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, don't hesitate to tell us so that we'll pass through the clinic. Yes, for yes, free. yes. The... <laughs> for free. For a discount. For a discount. Okay, okay. we'll consider that. Yeah. Okay, so um, let us get your final words to anyone watching us today. What do you think they should take away from our conversation in trying to balance their work life and then their personal lives? So, first of all, your parents took you to school to be something. <laughs> If you are that thing already, you're a lawyer, you're a doctor, you're a pharmacist, engineer, find something, passion, whatever passion, you're painting, you're mm. singing, you're dancing, make a balance out of it. Like, just draw a fine line between it. Make sure you do both correctly. Rest a bit. Mm. Not completely, but just rest a bit. Go on at it. Whatever you do, whatever you're doing, you are going to be blessed. It's going to be a very, very fruitful outcome because if you're good at what you do, everyone's going to find you wherever you are. Exactly. Yes. And we want people to find you wherever you are. So yes. just tell us, uh, give us your contact details and also your social media handles. So on most social media handles, on Snapchat, on TikTok, it's MC, the M being capital, the C B capital, and Kofi. Mm. Underscore Saint. Okay. Maybe in a sanctified Friday one. So, <laughs> so yes. MC Kofi underscore Saint. Saint. Okay. Yes. On all social all media. Social and your media phone one. number. Phone number is 050 038 Okay. Yes. Clemens, I hope you, you, you got the number right because we have to start planning something, right? <laughs> <laughs> At a discount. Thank you so much, Nana, for making time um, with us for this conversation. We've really learned a lot and we hope that we are moving forward, we are going to balance our lives very well. Right. So I just um, finished having my conversation with Nana. Um, I always forget his name. <laughs> so Nana Kofi Ado is CADU and he is the head of pharmacy at the Ghana Medical Center. And he also doubles as 
a master of ceremony, and he came to share with us his two cents on how to balance our work life and also personal lives. And I hope you learned something from our conversation. Up next, we have some birthdays to do. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. I heard today was your birthday. I heard today was your birthday. Right, so let's take our first birthday celebrant. This is from your baby sis, okay? On this day, I would like the world to know you are everything a little sister can ever wish for. Happy birthday to you, big bro. You are amazing and I love you. Right, this is from Root to Imano Ajete. Ajete. Okay, so happy birthday to you, Ima, president for Osu District Singing Band. I wish you all the joy and happiness in this world because you deserve it. And people around you are blessed to have you in their lives. Your type is rare, and I pray that God continues to strengthen you more in discharging your duties. You, your duties. I know God is not done with you yet. And it shall surely end in praise. Have a wonderful birthday, Daddy P. A happy birthday to this fine gentleman, M. Sen Emmanuel Achia Yao. Sorry if I didn't get your name right. May God increase you before your enemies, before your enemies as they decrease. May God lift you up and bless you more abundantly. Okay, so this is from the Jade family. A blessed birthday to Father Ohana and daughter Ohara. Sorry if I'm not getting the names right. Praying that this joy will never depart from your life and whatever your heart desires be granted. Okay, so this is from Pro Max Teammates. Happy birthday, Gideon Kwesi Nakote, a.k.a. NKG, a.k.a. Polarize, a.k.a. Wodada. <laughs> right, so we wish you a happy birthday. May God Almighty protect all that concerns you. Happy birthday. We love you, love you, love you. Okay. And this is from Presla to Mamoshi. Thank you for being a sister, a friend, and for teaching me to value myself more. I'm grateful for you. Happy birthday, Mamushi. From Jesse and the protocol team, a very blessed anniversary to Mr. and Mrs. Otu. May our God continue to bless and make your union example to many. We pray for more children and that um, the bond between you will never break. Right. Happy birthday to Mr. and Mrs. Edu. May God bless them abundantly and give them proper health conditions. This is from their children. And this is also from the protocol team to Mrs. Amaki Diame. Happy birthday, Mrs. Amaki Diame. Praying for more money, good health, long life, and prosperity. May God continue to bless you for what you do for us. Okay, happy birthday, dear. Enjoy your day from your friend. Okay. And this is to Queen Selassie. A glorious birthday to Queen Selassie. Age gracefully, um, dear. Much love from this end. And this is from your wife and children. Happy birthday to you, Reverend Samuel Labi Ek. Praying that the oil on your head will never run dry and may all your smiles never fade. Thank you very much for all you do for me and the children as well as, 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 well as Awana Ministry as a whole. Thank you so much 
for bringing in your birthday wishes this morning. This is where we end the birthday segment here on the Coco Digest Morning Show. A quick shout out to um, Mary Ann Asamoa inside Adenta House and down near Benefit of Christ Mission. You are watching me today. A big, big, big thank you so much. And a thank you to my family. Yeah, they are also watching me here on the show. So Clement has already come and I know Yaira is ready with her guest to take us into the world of marriage. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.